Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video for Terraria Mod Development. In this episode we are creating a weapon that will have two uses. Now the first uh, use is going to be a right click attack that will uh, do, that will inflict a uh, buff on an enemy uh, and so you can have different effects for right click and left click functions and then we're also going to give the right click function the ability to shoot a projectile and so in order to make it so we can use a uh, the right click we want to do override don't bother writing ball actually let me just zoom in quickly now I've remembered public override alt function use and then just do return true next you want to do public override can use item if player dot alt function use equals two so this is the right click function we want to set uh we want to change some of the defaults so we're going to first of all make it so the use time is a lot slower actually let's make it slower and item dot use time if use time equals 10 item dot use animation equals 10 so this is default left click then we want to do return base dot can use item and pass player so in order to make it so we inflict a uh, buff on an enemy we want to do on hit npc if player dot alt function use equals two if the right click function let's get rid of that uh, target dot add buff and let's add buff id and let's do frost buff and does that need a time to 60 and else if left click function this is also optional certainly evil you could do both of these are optional if you only want it on the right you don't need the else if you only want it on the left uh, do if alt function use is not equal to two maybe can't think but let's make it so we can differentiate the two on fire also for 60. now if you want to inflict a buff on the player we could do this under melee effects at least this is how i'm going to do it and i'm only going to do it for the right click function and I'm just going to do buff id dot regeneration for 10 so that's how you create an item with a right click function what if you want to add a projectile to this well much like with normal projectiles uh, you want to set the item dot shoot speed and item dot shoot so in the right click function I want to shoot a snowball so we're going to do shoot speed equals 16f it's going to be quite fast and we're going to do shoot because projectile id dot snowball friendly which means in this we just want to do item dot shoot speed equals 0f and item dot shoot equals 0 in fact you don't even need the item dot shoot speed in this one uh, but just for safety it's best to have it so right click 
will shoot snowballs. Left click has no projectile. So that's pretty simple to do, and I don't know why I originally thought this part, this this video would be a two-parter. So let's open up uh, Tavaria. And I will show you the ugly dagger in action. And I've changed some settings in Tavaria, so hopefully, hopefully, it's a bit quicker, oops. Less laggy, I should say. Okay, once this is opened, single player, the tester, and we'll do the normal world. I'll also turn this down because I think it's going to be quite loud. Uh, let's just set God mode to true. Let's increase the spawn rate, and let's select our uh, ugly dagger. As you can see, this is normal swinging if we hit an enemy. We need a stronger enemy. So let me just set to night and let me just try and get an enemy that's going to go on fire. There we go. As you can see, our demon eye is on fire and with our right click function you can see we're shooting uh, snowballs and if we hit an enemy you can see they got the frost burn effect now if you look up here you can see that while we're holding down the right click function we have regeneration which if we take damage we're healing, so just think fun. So that's going to do it for uh, this episode. It was a quick episode, and I'm happy it was quick, because I'm surprised. I was really surprised I wanted to make a <laughs> two-parter originally. But yeah, uh, all of this code is on the uh, GitHub. Uh, you will be able to get that in the description. Uh... In the next episode, I will be going over common mistakes and stuff that people have done, and we're going to go over those. And there's also the saying I've wanted to add uh, and show if you're using the skeleton, but Tavaria is in a different location. So that's the plan for the next episode. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Until then, goodbye.